Have you ever felt manipulated in a relationship, but couldn't quite put your finger on what was happening? Welcome to the world of dark psychology, a realm that lurks in the shadows of human interaction, especially in the dating scene. Dark psychology refers to the use of psychological tactics to manipulate and control others, often for personal gain, and it can leave devastating emotional scars. When it comes to dating, dark psychology can take many forms. It might be a partner who's always promising commitment but never quite delivering, or someone who seems to be the perfect match aligning with all your interests and goals only to reveal a different persona later. It could even be an individual who uses intimacy as a tool for control. Understanding these tactics is the first step towards safeguarding your emotional health and ensuring healthier relationships. So, let's delve into some common dark psychology techniques used in dating and how you can avoid them. The first technique we are going to talk about is deceptive commitment. In the dating world, this is a common strategy employed by individuals who are adept at using dark psychology. They lead their partners into believing that they are ready for a serious, committed relationship. This is done by painting a picture of a shared future, making long-term plans, and constantly promising a life together. But when it comes to actually making that leap, they somehow always find a way to dodge it. It's like chasing a mirage that recedes further the more you approach it. The impact of this manipulative tactic on the victim can be devastating. They may feel constantly on edge, doubting their own worth, and questioning whether they're enough for their partner. The constant uncertainty can lead to anxiety, low self-esteem, and even depression in severe cases. But how do you spot deceptive commitment? It's not always easy, as those who practice it are often skilled in deceit. One sign, however, is a discrepancy between words and actions. They may speak volumes about their commitment, but their actions may tell a different story. Now, let's talk about how you can avoid falling into the trap of deceptive commitment. Open and honest communication is key. If you notice inconsistencies between what your partner is saying and doing, it's important to address them. A relationship is a partnership, and both parties should feel comfortable discussing their concerns. Furthermore, it's crucial to ensure that actions align with words over time. If your partner is continuously making promises but never follows through, it might be time to reassess the relationship. Discuss your long-term goals and expectations early on in the relationship. This can help you gauge if you're both on the same page and avoid any potential heartbreak down the line. Lastly, remember to trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. You deserve a partner who values and respects you, one who is as committed to the relationship as you are. Remember, actions speak louder than words. Don't be fooled by empty promises. Next up is a technique called chameleon manipulation. This is a crafty and deceptive strategy often used in dating scenarios. The metaphor of a chameleon is quite fitting here. Just as a chameleon changes its colors to blend in with its surroundings, individuals employing this technique wear a mask of the ideal partner. They pretend to share all of your interests, hobbies, and even life goals, effectively mirroring you. But don't be fooled, this is not about finding common ground. It's a calculated move, often with the aim of advancing the physical aspect of the relationship. Now, you might wonder, how does this play out? Let's paint a picture. Imagine you're on a date with someone who seems to love everything you love. They're into the same music, share your passion for vintage cars, and even claim to adore the same obscure French cinema. It's as if you found your perfect match, right? Wrong. This could be a case of chameleon manipulation. The person might not genuinely share your interests, but is pretending to do so for their own motives. The impact of this, this manipulation technique can be quite damaging. It can lead to a false sense of connection and compatibility, which can be shattering when the truth eventually surfaces. Victims often feel used, deceived, and emotionally drained, questioning their ability to trust again. So how can you avoid falling into this trap? The key lies in maintaining your individuality and interests in a relationship. While it's nice to have shared interests, it's equally important to have your own hobbies and passions. Be cautious if someone seems overly eager to align with all your preferences, encourage open discussions about differences. Remember, it's these differences that make us unique and interesting. A genuine connection is built on mutual understanding and respect for each other's individuality, not on a mirage of shared interests. Chameleon manipulation is a powerful tool in the arsenal of dark psychology, but with awareness and discernment, you can protect yourself from falling victim to it. Keep in mind it's important to maintain your individuality and interest in a relationship. You are not a mirror, and your partner shouldn't be either. 
Ever heard of the term, playing hard to get? This is another dark psychological technique often employed in dating scenarios. It's a game, a power play, where one person positions themselves as a prize to be won. They feign low interest, acting aloof or indifferent even when they're genuinely interested in the other person. Why do they do this? To manipulate their partners into chasing them, to maintain control over the dynamics of the relationship. The person playing hard to get might cancel plans last minute, take a long time to respond to messages, or be generally elusive. This can leave the other person feeling insecure, constantly questioning their worth and their place in the relationship. This insecurity is what the manipulator feeds on, using it to maintain an upper hand. So how can you avoid falling into this trap? First, recognize the importance of mutual respect and interest in a relationship. If someone is consistently playing hard to get, you might want to reconsider your pursuit. Relationships are not games of cat and mouse. They're partnerships built on trust, respect, and mutual interest. Secondly, communicate openly about your feelings. If you feel like you're constantly chasing someone, express your concerns. Their response might give you a better insight into their intentions. Remember, a healthy relationship is built on equal investment from both parties. The last technique we are going to discuss is using sex as a tool. In the complex landscape of dating, some individuals resort to using sex as a psychological weapon. This technique can manifest in various ways, but at its core, it involves the use of intimacy as a means of control. It's a form of leverage, a carrot and stick approach, where sex is used as a reward or punishment to manipulate the dynamics of the relationship. This can lead to an unhealthy power imbalance where one party holds the reins, dictating when and under what circumstances intimacy occurs. The victim may feel pressured, coerced, or manipulated into situations they're not comfortable with. It may rob them of their autonomy, breeding feelings of resentment and dissatisfaction. It's important to remember that this is not the foundation of a healthy relationship. Intimacy should be a shared experience, a moment of connection between two individuals, not a bargaining chip to be used for personal gain. So how can we avoid falling into this trap? The key lies in open communication and mutual respect. Discuss your expectations and boundaries regarding physical intimacy early on in the relationship. Ensure that both parties feel comfortable and heard. Remember that consent is not just a one-time agreement but an ongoing conversation. In relationships, ensure that intimacy is based on mutual desire and consent, not used as a bargaining chip. 